at the grate. We're over uh, 900 degrees right now. So you can see that's pretty hot. Time to add the pizza stone. Okay, that stone is at 480 degrees. Got another pie here. The lid goes on. We'll check it in a minute or two. This is after one minute and after three minutes. Looks pretty good. You can see, you can see the crust is getting nice and brown. See that color? Well, that's what we're looking for on the crust. I like it. You can rotate it a little bit. Almost ready. Okay, the pizza's all done. You can see, you can see it's looking pretty good. I'm going to finish it with a little bit of uh, fresh basil and oregano. And uh, I'll be back. You know, I got to show you the crust really really turned out nice yeah look at that that is a nice crispy pie so check it out pick one up have a great day the finished pizza cooked on the pizza stone check it out pick one up at chefdepot.com garnishing with a little bit of uh, fresh chopped basil and uh, oregano all right and i want to show you once again what the crust looks like here we go. Yeah, now that is a pizza. I want to talk to you for a minute about pizza stones. Our pizza stone is uh, close to an inch thick. It's made in the USA. You can see the brand right there. Pick one up right there, chefdepot.com. Another thing I want to show you uh, about the stones are the other products out there on the market. Uh, this is my neighbor's, all right? It's been used for a while. You can see how thick it is. I want to show you. This is mine. This has been used for about five years. You can see how thick that is. The feet keep it off the grill. Uh, they let air move around. The, the feet do a lot of things. It also adds thickness. It adds a little bit of uh, uh, insulative properties. But look at the difference. You got ours made in the USA, you got the Chinese thing here. It's completely different. So I'm kind of wondering with this pizza stone, uh, what's in there? I have no idea. There could be lead, could be antifreeze, could be uh, other metals, who knows? Ours is a, a pure food safe clay. It's basically edible material and uh, it's good for 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So think about that next time you get out the barbecue grill and you want to have a nice pizza, crispy garlic bread, or something on the pizza stone. You want to buy the made in China one, or do you want to buy the made in the USA one, which is about four times as thick, probably. So check it out. Visit the site. Have a great day.